No, have you had any at cafe desserts that you like? Yeah, I really like. I usually go for the volcano. The volcano? Yeah. Mm, my favorite is the apple pie, but okay. for today, I think I'll go with. Um, mm, what will I go with today? But th- there's more than that, no? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think these ones, these ones as well, oh, the right? Kids. Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. The, yeah. Uh, the black forest is really good as well. Oh yeah. I think I'll go with the cappuccino cake. That that has never failed me. I've never tasted it. It's it's really good. Okay, so I'll take the black forest. Mm-hmm. Um, and, and the cappuccino cake. You can make a sandwich with <laughs> <laughs> You want to mix? <laughs> okay, and coffee. Uh, yeah, iced, uh, no, no, iced, it's too cold. Yeah, it's Chai latte. Chai latte. Okay. What's up, guys? Welcome to another episode of the Kiss Capades podcast. I have a very lovely guest with me today. And, you know, <coughs> this just happened very randomly. Yes, uh, it did. You know, you follow my podcast. I do my investigation. I see, you know, <laughs> who's this following back? Uh, are they interested in my podcast and stuff? And, you know, I just reach out immediately because I saw like you have something very unique mm-hmm. going on on your profile. But before we get to that, i let you introduce yourself and tell people what you do. Okay. So my name is Sumaya. Mm-hmm. Uh, right now, I'm a regional marketing manager for a architecture and interior design company called Dash Interiors. Uh, that's something I, I love. Um, it's, I've always been in t- interested in interior design, so I'm really passionate about what I'm doing right now. Mm-hmm. Um, but on the side, I also do weaving, and I think that's what you were talking about. When yeah, you said something special. yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah, so tapestry weaving is something that's not common in Kenya, and um, I'm kind of the first person who started teaching it here. Very true, very yeah. true. And I stopped for a bit and now I'm back at it. So this is perfect timing. Oh, so it's just like perfect timing to do a little promo of what you have going on. And then, okay, exactly. I see. You I came, see, you I came see. like an angel out of nowhere, you know? <laughs> no, but you know, I'm, I'm guessing, you know, when I came across like your Instagram, I was like, yo, how is this even like a hobby? Because I found it like really strange because mm. those are things maybe you see like on documentaries that I <laughs> hardly even run into yeah. and I can't even remember the last time I saw anybody like doing tapestry or mm. is it weaving? Yeah, so tapestry. it's tapestry weaving. You have several type of weaving like basket mm-hmm. weaving or just the way you make clothes is actually mm-hmm. weaving. Okay. Um, but tapestry weaving is basically uh, wall decor. It's, okay. it's mainly oh. for, yeah. Okay, okay. Mm-hmm. So wall hangings. Mm-hmm. I also make things like pillows or bags or macrame as well. Um, What's that? Macrame is the art of making things with knots and rope. So you tie knots with rope and mm-hmm. you can create objects. So again, like wall hangings, like um, bags, uh, like um, mats for the table. like. Mm-hmm. Really, the sky is the limit. It's Everyone is different. quite diverse when yeah. it comes to, to yeah. it. Okay, so before we come back to that, because uh, I'm still trying to figure out how, how you, you know, have fun doing that. I mean, you know, <laughs> it's not it's not for everyone. Let's just Definitely, agree on that. It's just yeah. not for everyone. Uh, what's like your background? Like, where where did you grow up? Right. So I was born and raised in France, mm. um, but my parents are Moroccan. Okay. So. I can define myself as a French Moroccan. I have a double culture, or if you if you want, it's kind of schizophrenia. Mm. <laughs> it's like the my parents were very attached to their heritage, the Moroccan heritage, and they made sure that we kept our culture inside our home. So yeah. So you stayed in France. You grew up in France. Yeah. And um, did you keep going back and forth to Morocco just to yes. be in touch of your roots and everything? Yes. When I was a kid, we used to take the car and we used to travel three days to go to, uh, to Morocco every summer. I, you know, I have like my, my geography like all messed up. <laughs> and even when you say that, I was like, what? You can right. drive like from France to yeah. Morocco? So let's say in, uh, this is Africa. Yeah. Morocco is at the north, at the tip. Uh-huh. And then this is France, and I used to live uh, th- at the northeast of France. Ah. So it took us three it's days. It's easy to 
but it's, it's like not a, no no not easy <laughs> but was it a fun thing for you guys to do when you were young uh as a kid yeah i have very good memories of it i don't remember the bad parts when we like the car would have a problem and we'd be stuck and, and spanish <laughs> people were racist so they would not help us <laughs> i mean it was an adventure but, but think about it this way mm. when when you're young i mean at times you might not realize but when you're all grown up you realize those are the little special moments yes. that actually were fun and are more like those memories can just be erased exactly. in those experiences just to, if you think about it when you're a kid you don't even if the car is like you know not working by any chance or you just uh -huh. decide to take a stop or it stalls for that matter as a kid you actually enjoy it because yeah. you're like yo i get to spend more time on the road yeah it's true yeah. it's true and at that time your parents are just like what is this <laughs> what is this yeah okay. no, definitely and uh, mm -hmm. we were five kids so it was definitely an adventure uh -huh. and it's better like no, no. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so just growing up in how how's the experience growing up in france because you see like even from the podcast i guess a lot of people okay. get to to go into like you know people's footsteps and just uh, embrace culture mm -hmm. learn about something new how was it like just growing up there like what what things were you doing for fun growing up um, I had a normal childhood uh, I grew up in a modest family so I think pretty much modest meaning strict no modest meaning uh, not poor not rich so uh, middle class middle class okay I grew up in a small town so diversity was not like a thing I was I mean there was a couple of other Arabs um, mm. but that was pretty much it racism was quite a th like in a small town in France in the Northeast discrimination was always present so but, but see the thing is a lot of people would be like what do you mean racism but you know that's mm. like now in Kenya yes they wouldn't understand like yes. you know, even somebody like you somewhere experience. else somebody can look at you and say like you know you're not one of us mm -mm, mm -mm. definitely and I see it here here I'm a white girl in France I'm <laughs> definitely not a white girl trust me <laughs> my name uh, my skin color my hair type everything defines me as being an immigrant in France mm. but to come back to your question what I used to do as as a kid we used to go out and play in the street there was no like um, social media or internet yeah or, yeah you know those good, days. good old days good, good old, old days, days. the yeah. game boy the, the pokemon cards mm. mm -hmm. yeah just like normal childhood simple yeah nothing nothing crazy nothing wild just your normal arab drama like <laughs> what's tell me tell me if, if if anything we have time tell me the normal <laughs> arab drama there's levels of drama yeah there's like white people drama then there's like arab drama then there's african drama <laughs> <laughs> so yeah just uh -huh. like you know, once in a while um getting chased by your brother in the street <laughs> oh the usual the usual the, just the, you know the usual saturday morning yeah i mean growing up there like just the, the school system like mm -hmm. how how's the school system a lot That's of what a lot of what you learned like like just let's say would you call it like elementary level what, yeah or was it do you think it's like beneficial right now because there are a lot of school systems now that people are a bit confused because mm. you know they they just the job markets keep changing and yeah. people are not even sure how the school system should be should, mm -hmm. should they stick to the old mm -hmm. ways or should they adapt to new ways with this di this digital platforms i think uh i was lucky to have to mm. be to be born in france first of all and have mm. free education that's something i'll never complain oh, about it's free education yeah it was free education and free good healthcare. education yeah like public schools in france are good it's not like in other countries mm -hmm. thank god um <laughs> but what you were saying and health oh, yeah and health well. yeah yeah so that's life changing and that's something i never complain about in france mm. um i think what we learn in classrooms is not the most important is more like the social skills we get out of the mm. the education we get like True. from the teachers and from the other students mm -hmm. so i don't know anything about education right now even though i have a child myself <laughs> i don't really pay attention to the programs uh whether it's here or in france i think what matters is really like the environment because at the end we all forget what we learn in class anyway yeah. Yeah. so 
It's more about the skills as a human being. I think social interaction is more yeah, important, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. People skills, mm. just understanding even, and people skills. Now that that's why, like even adapting to different cultures, I guess. Yes. Yes. Like just being with people who are different uh -huh. and understanding them, not like you know. Uh, not in a shallow way. Exactly. Exactly. Mm. Empathy. Which, empathy. Sharing. Oh, sharing. Yeah, all those little things that, you know, we, we never, like, really pay attention to. Mm -hmm. When you grow up now, that's when you start realizing, like, oh, now this makes sense. Mm -hmm.